Hey guys, so we're over at Epic Aircraft and this is another beautiful airplane that's been in stalemate mode for I don't know how long now. But we're going to talk to somebody hopefully and answer some questions uh, that you guys may have been asking about this aircraft. For those who are not familiar with the Epic 1000, it's a turboprop. Uh, I would say competes with the PC-12, the Pilatus. Uh, it's a turboprop that can you can buy instead of a jet basically. Has a lot of power. You can cruise around 250, 300 knots. Uh, so somewhere in those categories. But again, this aircraft, it's been introduced for a long, long time now. Uh, I believe they're trying to bring it out to the market as an experimental because right now, again, it's been stuck in certification. But we're going to ask some questions. Hopefully, we'll get an idea when uh, they're going to release this airplane as a mass produced aircraft. Come on, let's go. Okay, guys, so here we have the standard cockpit of an Epic E1000. As you can see, it's all glass, Garmin. Uh, you have three screens here. Uh, your primary screen obviously here, and then I'm guessing this is a backup right here. Uh, in case something happens, you have this that helps you out as a backup. It has its own battery. Usually these things have their own independent batteries that doesn't depend on the electronic uh, system from the main, uh, from the, for the main avionics. But this is neat. Uh, anybody can fit in here, literally. I have so much room uh, in here. And if you can just check out the, the middle console here, uh, you have a power prop. I'm not sure what this is. This is. It says, this is, I believe this is your mixture. So what I'm assuming is that this has a constant speed prop, which to me, it's a little bit outdated. If you saw some of the other modern aircraft that we checked out, both of these are already eliminated because you have an engine system that uses a FADEC, meaning the, the, uh, the engine is managed by an electronic system and you don't necessarily need a mixture or say a prop uh, knob in here. So it has that going for it. Uh, obviously your landing gear. This is going to be retractable landing gear. Uh, looks like you've got AC in here, climate control, and uh, you have your standard yoke. I love yokes that has curves like this. Uh, not that I've really flown an airplane with one before, but I do like that about it. And these seats are super comfortable. <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. These seats are very comfortable. In terms of visibility, now, look, I'm sitting all the way back. If I pull my chair like this, which I'll be closer. If I'm flying this aircraft, I'll probably be back, let's see, more like back here because that's how long my feet is to the uh, rudder pedals. So now, in terms of visibility, you can see it starts right here. I'd prefer if this window was a little bit right at my shoulders. So visibility is good, but it could be better. And then you have this uh, middle frame here. I don't think it should obstruct your your uh, vision in any way, but you do have that. Um, got a nice armrest here, some uh, cup holders. But for sure, the cockpit itself is very spacious, very comfortable, uh, and I'm, I'm excited for this airplane to come to market. This aircraft has been introduced for for a long time. Right. And you know, a lot of people are asking about certification, a war route, is it gonna be a certified aircraft or is it gonna be experimental? I know there are some owners who built out their own experimental. So if you can just give me a general update on either the aircraft being certified or if it's being uh, uh, produced more as, as a kit. Well, the aircraft is discontinued as a kit in 2013. Oh, wow. So um, they're, they're at, at the last one that will have been built will be number 54. Oh, wow. And so and we just continue that program because we are going through full certification awesome. on, on the airplane. airplane. So that uh, that means by the end of this year we should have our type certificate and by the first of next year we should have delivered our first airplane. Okay, so you're telling me that within the next year yes. this aircraft will be certified right. as a production airplane. Yep. Awesome. So you hear, you heard that first here, guys. I heard it here. So, within the next year. Okay, within the next year. Now, in terms of, 
I guess performance and all that good number stuff, you know, a lot of people see this aircraft, uh, I would say, competing, say, with the PC-12. Uh, Cessna's also got the Denali coming out. Uh, all the aircraft I can think of, TBM, maybe. So, uh, how does the Epic stand out? On a per-flight basis, right. we pull all the information off the flight aware and a couple other sources that, that uh, list all the IFR flights that are filed. So I, these are actual IFR uh, filed flights. Uh, we outperform everything up to the Phenom 100. You'll, you can see at least uh, 310 to 325 minutes. Okay. And in terms of operating costs, that's, I think, for people who are looking at this, that's... That's, that's the other, the other place where we see the other aircraft is what I heard is where our improve on that is at $550 to $600. Wow. Okay, so you heard that, guys. Better economy and also better speed. Now, what is the price? If somebody, whoever's looking to purchase this. And also better price, so $3.25 million. <laughs> there you go. That's almost $2 million less than the PC-12. But there you have it, guys. Thank you so oh, yeah, much. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks.